Universidad Politécnica Metropolitana de Hidalgo. Licenciatura en Comercio Internacional y Aduanas. Base de datos. Now, we are going to learn how to create graphics. And we are going to work with the same Excel file that we were working before. So, in the Insert tab, we have everything about charts. We just have to choose the one which could be better to work, to work with. And it depends about the work you are going to do. So, first, let's check how Industria Alimentaria is growing or not since 2007 to 2019. In order to create a graph, first we have to select the data that we want to work with. Then, in the Insert tab, we have different kinds of graphs that we can work with. So, we just have to choose the best one for each case. In this case, I inserted a chart, but we can see it as well. As we can see, it is taking Industria Alimentaria, but we don't see the data that we want to see. So, we have to switch row columns, and it is done. We can drop the graphic in order to get it in a better area. So, as we can see, Industria Alimentaria is growing through the time. Now, if we want to see how is the distribution for the sectors in a specific year, we can work with another kind of charts. In this case, we can work with a pie chart. And as we can see, we have all the labels, which mean all the descriptions, but it shows just the first. And also the chart looks weird. So, we can set some settings in order to get it in a better looking. We can change the style. And if, if we need, we can remove the legend. And we just have the pie chart. <coughs> but since there are a lot of sectors, all the parts doesn't look well. And we can drop the chart to another cells in order to see it better. Now we are going to try something different. Let's see how all the sectors have been growing from 2007 to 2019. So we choose the data range, then insert, then we can go to an stock line, get it in a better size, then Switch row column 
and it is here. So each line means one sector. So as we saw before, if there are a lot of sections or options to show in the graph, it is complex to show all of that as well. But we can try another thing. Let's see the same data, but just with category. I mean, I will be creating, creating a new table just with category column, then 2007, 2008, and so to 2019. Then category was Minería, Industria, and others. And we will need to take the sum from Minería. And 2007. And we are going to do the same for Industria. And others. Then we can copy and fill for all the cells. Just for checking, the last column should be P. And it is P. Now we want to apply a table format. It has headers. Let's create a graph. We can select the whole table. Then let's see how each category is growing through the time. Switch row column. And it is done. Mineria is in blue. Industry is in yellow. Is in orange and others is in gray and as we can see we are able to see how is it growing or not we can also see in a pie chart how those sectors are distributed so, for 2007, there were more industry than others. Let's see how did it was for 2019. So, select the category and the data rows. And we can insert the chart. And it is done. So in a percentage, industry is growing. So it means from the total, there are more exports on industry than others. And in this case, we can see better, we can compare better each category. There are, there are less items in these charts, so we can see them better. In this case, there are a lot of items to, to show, and it is difficult to show all of them. Also, we can see the data as an histogram. 
and we can insert an histogram as a bar chart. And, and we got it. So we can compare categories in a specific year. And also we can apply predefined formats and color schema. It is important to know what do we want to show and what is the best chart option. Let me show you. I will be representing all the data table in a chart. It will be a bar chart. Like this. In this bar chart, we have three categories and we have each year represented. So we have industry 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, and so. So we have all the category in all the year range and the same for others. But, <coughs> but working with the same data, now switching rows by columns, we got this. It means each year and how it was formed by Mineria, Industria, and others. So this part is for Mineria, and this one is for Industry. In 2008, almost all was gotten from Industry, but in 2009, we have like a half, half for industry and half for others. So the same data, data could be representing different things. You have to choose the best and you have to think what do you want to represent.